blonk. <laughs> Friends, it's Stephanie from Recipe Archaeology, where we love to uncover the wacky and weird and tasty recipes from mid-century and earlier. You will probably notice that I am again alone in my kitchen, and that is because Christine is at home um, doing her best to do online school. So it's back to school for us, and that means we are having to social distance even more. Christine is going to be seeing a lot of kids come through her classroom, and my kids are returning to school and interacting with their classmates. So, in an effort to continue doing what we really love to do best, and to stay safe and keep our families healthy, we are gonna do our retro recipes just a little bit different than we have in the past. So I am going to make Christine a back to school treat and do a porch drop off. And then we will uh, do a social distance Zoom tea time and try the recipe out together. So today we are in prunes add variety and make you regular. So this cute little pamphlet, which you can see is a, is a little damaged. Uh, is from the California prune industry. It is published in 1935, and it's all about promoting prunes in your diet. What I'm gonna to make today that I thought was a fun fall um, recipe is spiced prune ice cream. Let's see the recipe. I'm gonna make this here at home with you, and then uh, we'll take it over to Christine. Let's do it. Hey friends. Hi guys. It's Stephanie. And Christine. And we're doing our social distance Zoom time. I'm very excited about this new foray into us distance cooking. I'm yeah. calling it distance cooking, just like distance learning. <laughs> do you remember this little book? I do, it's super cute. Now, is this the one where we did prune caviar from? Wait, do you remember that? I do not remember prune caviar. I feel like I would have. I'll put a link up above. Do you remember the orange jello and prune? The oh. prune stuffed with cream cheese, remember? I do remember that, yes, remember I that? do. Came, we put it in a cute little orange jello mold. It was very cute. Was that in here? I think so. So today we're doing spiced prune ice cream. Spiced prune ice cream. I saw that and I was like, I, I feel like it seems like a fall treat, but for a hot day, a hot fall day, I like right? It. And I'm assuming that the flavors in this are also fall-esque. Yes, like yes, they are. And That's, and... Yes, let me tell you what we got That's and I'll tell you how you make it. I'm very excited about this. How I made it. Okay. So you need a, a can of evaporated milk. I have that. And you scald that, scald okay. it. Yeah. And you need to soften um, a teaspoon of gelatin, plain gelatin in a tablespoon of water. Okay. Soften Jello. it. Yeah, gelatin. And so once your milk is scalded, then put your gelatin into the milk and dissolve it. So I think you're just wanting to speed up the, the, um, the process, process. Okay. To get it to all stick together. Okay. So um, then once that's dissolved, you're going to add um, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Okay, I like ground, that. Ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, ground clove. Yes. Of salt. And then you're going to put that in the fridge to chill and, and just set up just a little bit. Okay. 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 So, yes. and then... Um, while that's chilling, then you take your two cups of prunes, your cooked prunes, and um, mix it so, in. Well, it says two cups of cooked prunes. And so I thought rather than just take them directly from the container and plop them into the ice cream, I stewed them a little bit. So I just did, I cut them up, put them on the stove with a little bit of water, and got them nice and soft, super soft. Yeah. Right? Love it. Love it. Okay, so now when everything is chilled, everything's cold, you, you take your milk mixture that is slightly uh, set up and you whip it in with, with a mixer. Whip it good. Yeah. And you add 
two tablespoons of brown sugar. That's it. Okay, I like that flavor too. That's mm -hmm. brown sugar, but two tablespoons, that's it. That's it. Okay. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Because the prune, okay, I love the vanilla in there. The prunes are very sweet. Um, One would think. There's and you, yellow you, involved. Right, and so you whip that until you've got stiff peaks. Or, okay. you know, till it's, yeah, you've got stiff peaks. Mine were sort of semi-stiff. But okay. you whip it until stiff, so you're really whipping on, in a lot of air. So you're right, you are just making kind of a whipped cream. Well, and all of these are pantry staples. Like, all of this stuff is... Totally. Just like things that are lying around your pantry right now. I have a sneaking suspicion you could probably do this with any fruit that yeah, was well, dried that you had. Then you're going to fold in your um, sweet prunes that are chilled. Fold in the prunes. David, fold in the prunes. Just fold it in, David. <laughs> I don't know how to make it more clear. Fold it in. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Every time I hear fold now, I, I only you think fold one more time. What do you want me to do with this broken cheese? I now call all shredded cheese broken cheese. Yeah. And then you pour it into your container and freeze it until you're ready to And this it. is what you delivered to my doorstep right here. Da -da -da -da! That I, I can definitely tell that there's there's stuff in it, but also it's light. Like it's Very. super light. Ooh. How's it smell? Oh, it smells like fall. Yes, it does. It's kind okay, of so big here, too. Here is mine. And here's mine and in I've the scooped thing. out. All right, I'm gonna scoop mine out. Not hard to scoop. Like I was, you know how sometimes you make ice cream and then it's rock solid? It's not hard to scoop at all. I'm gonna put it in the freezer again. That's a cute dish. Isn't Look at that, that a cute, adorable dish. Isn't that a cute little dish? Get all of that in there. See, look. I've got lots. Do you have lots of, you got your prune? Oh, I got lots of prune. Okay. I'm Are excited about this. Are you ready? Hey, cheers. Wait, cheers. Boop. Boop. Interesting. I don't know what to say. I don't know if it, if it tastes like ice cream. It tastes like cold prunes. It does. I think maybe there was... Maybe, maybe let me get some without such so many prunes. Maybe I had too many prunes in that bite. Here's a bite with just the ice, the cream. It's, it's, it's a nice yeah. touch. Okay, did, get a, did you get a bite without a big chunk of prune? I did, and it's a really nice, light texture. Yes, it's more like a frozen whipped cream. It's not very heavy at all. It's like a spice cake mm -hmm. with dried fruit in an ice cream. It's, you know, yes, and maybe it would be better to... Um, would it be better to blend the prunes up and not have them so chunky? That could be to your taste, right? Like, maybe you like a chunky prune ice cream. That's fine. I like, it. I like it better when you're not chewing the prune. I was afraid it wasn't going to be sweet enough, like a, a sweet ice cream. But, you, but it's, it's a good sweetness. It's not like... It's not like sinfully sweet. Well, look at that big old chunk of prune right there. You're going to be regular tonight. Yeah, yeah, I am. I wonder if Pitts would like, let's see if Harry likes this. Hey, Harry. Yeah? Are you dressed? Nope. <laughs> Here's spoon, honey. Get a spoon. Get a spoon. Are you dressed? No. It's Saturday. He's in his robe. Hi, Harry. <laughs> Harry, try this. I gave you a bite without the chunky prune. What do you think? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no. And then I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, mm. and I'm like, mm. You know what? We'll, let's put this recipe down below. 
I don't think this is a bad thing. I think we can grow from it. But I really like your idea of taking the base and then and changing up the fruit. I mean, what if you put a little maple in there? Oh. I'm going to I'm going to take it to another level. What? Think about this. Queen of garam masala. Uh-oh. Peaches. Uh-oh. Peaches. With garam masala as the spice. I I'm picking up what you're laying down, sister. I knew you would. I have to tell you that what? Thank you for this light in the weirdness of this week, because this was delicious. Do you think Jeremy will like this? I actually think he might. So everybody listen, first off, thank you for being here. Like us on Facebook and Instagram. If you make prune ice cream or some iteration of that, tell us in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. We um, really want to see if this is a thing. Maybe it's a thing in people's homes and we didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. Like, this is just something you do. Um, Also, just so that everyone knows, we do have our store up and running, don't we? Dun-da-da-da! Recipearchaeology.com slash shop. You can get your very own button. And we're considering putting this on. Oh, yeah. No car, notepad. It's a notepad. So cute. Just for all the recipes that you do that you want to make notes about. Right. Or, you know what? I had to write a person a note the other day, and I was like, I'm going to write it on this. Boopity-boo. Yeah. Yeah, how cute is that? All right, everybody. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys. Your milk mixture that's slightly, um, for the Lord. What is happening with your oh, bird? They're, they're covered up. Okay. Bird.